Our opponent this week, the University of Alabama, or Bama, though I'm pretty sure the locals would prefer for you to pronounce it Bama. When strolling around the Alabama campus, be sure to display manners befitting a guest by letting them know you love Bama. Alabama would be the never-never land of college football if Peter Pan were a 300-pound diabetic calf wrestler named Jebudike Joe from down in the holler who ain't got much in the way of book smarts but sure can ping a get fiddle when the feeling's right. Captain Hook were a third-generation DeVry alumnus who made his money in the lucrative Turd Futures racket and Tinkerbell were coaching. Alabama is a proud and storied program and more than anything proud of their little stories. Like the one about winning a national championship the same year they actually finished third in the SEC. Bama makes up more titles than Michael Scott. They have invented more self-worth than alcohol. They have been less honest about their distant history than a Peruvian named Schwanchez, and they are less reliable with their memory of the 1930s and 40s than an Alabama tour guide. Alabama's football tradition is built upon the same premise as Alabama law. If 12 white men agree some boys did something, they did it. In fairness, Alabama has won a few legitimate peer-reviewed titles. Their most recent came under current head coach and Super Mario Brothers character Nick Saban. Saban is the honey badger of SEC coaches. He's short, persistent, cunning, rabid, and immune to cobra venom. Also, he looks like he would probably feast on rodent carcasses. Saban is the only coach to win national titles at two BCS schools. He's bigger in the southeast than heart disease. In Alabama, men want to be him and women want to do anything else but continue living in Alabama. Alabama's football team is known as the Crimson Tide. Now, I know of only one meaning for Crimson Tide, and it actually makes some sense from the perspective of a Razorback fan. After all, you're ecstatic when the Alabama game starts because of what it means, but it sure picked a crappy time to show up. While the official team name may be the Crimson Tide, the on-field mascot is an elephant, because an elephant, much like Alabama fans, can't ride in one airplane seat. Alabama is led on the field by a stifling defense. They give up less ground than an Israeli homesteader, block more scoring attempts than back hair, stop more possessions than the Catholic Church, and allow fewer drives to finish successfully than the cops in Johnson. That is, unless the Tide are playing Auburn, in which case they can give up an insurmountable lead faster than Howard Dean. On the other side of the ball, the Tide bring an anemic offense to the field, though it should be noted that anemia is a common side effect of inbreeding and diets rich in possum lard. The offense at Alabama is like civil rights legislation in Mississippi because it's not going to pass. It's like a Florida player when he sees a cop because it's going to run every time. It's like the last American Idol because it's missing the biggest stars from the previous year's already mediocre edition. And it's like a Nebraska nightclub because on Saturday it's going to be overrun by hogs. The University of Alabama is located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the home of Joe Scarborough competition paint huffing, and the third largest collection of Big Mouth Billy Bass wall mounts in West Central Alabama. Tuscaloosa is named after a Native American chieftain, which makes sense because the town worships a dead bear. Tuscaloosa is where you would go if you wanted to find out what depression feels like, but have already tried marriage and heroin. Alabama fans are known to take the results of football games rather emotionally, sometimes resulting in shootings following a loss. If Arkansas wins this game, it will be interesting to see which will feature the bloodiest rampage Saturday night, Tuscaloosa or UFC 135. Here's to you, Alabama. You present a less accurate retelling of the events of the 1940s than Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. You present a less realistic image of yourself than an internet dating site user, and you present less hope for humanity than the Ebola virus. If not for an Arkansan, you would be nothing. To an Arkansan, you are nothing. And against Arkansas, you will do nothing. Don't go away mad, Alabama. Just go away. Delusional.